Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at two things that go together like chocolate and peanut butter and then if you don't like that combination I'm sorry it's an amazing combination and so is this so app wise in this video we're going to be taking a look at a app called air display from Avatron software there they are that's their website as you can see it is a wireless display extender for different OS's okay and then we're going to be taking a look at a product and I have to apologize I had to mangle the box Mountie from 101 Design so with these two uh, combinations we can actually get quite the little setup here and this is a like a 2011 MacBook Pro now it works with a whole bunch of stuff and we'll take a look at that uh, I've got a iPad Pro 9.7 inch, I have an iPhone 6, and I have an iPad mini retina. Okay, so we're going to have a little fun here and set up a pretty kick butt display. Let's take a quick look at the Mountie. This is all it is. Look at that. Engineering genius right there. We're going to use this to hook up a couple different devices to our MacBook and make it look like one cool rig. All right, I have two of these, one for each side. So we'll get those going here in a minute. Now, with the Mountie, you can see here, these are the instructions, very simplistic. Devices supported, MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, other MacBooks, iPhone 5, 5S, 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone in a case, older iPhones, iPad Air, iPad Mini 1, 2, 3, iPad Air 2, iPad in a case. Needless to say, I did not say iPad 1, iPad 2, iPad 3, or iPad 4. Everything pretty much in the iOS line, but even some of the, uh, let's see, iPad Mini, yeah, 1, 2, and 3, all those are covered. If you have the fatter, older iPads before the Air, you're out of luck. Why do we have this? Because with these little mounties there are these little adapters that come with it and each one has as I throw it uh, a little letter I don't know if you can see that or not up here it's upside down and hey and two little connectors and a little slide and then this one has got a F okay so depending on the device you want to use you just switch it out Okay, so like over here, let's just show you how easy this is to switch out. So I'm just going to take this one and I'm just going to unhook it like so. And this one is a B. Okay, so if I look up on the reference here, what is a B? Can't hold on to anything today. B is for the iPad Air, iPad Mini 1, 2, and 3. So uh, with the B, uh, and also over here, it's for the iPhone 5, 5S, and 6 Plus. So with the B installed, uh, you're going to be able to use those devices and uh, mount on the side of your screen. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We're going to get this set up. We're going to get the displays replicated and extended. And then we're going to take a look at how this all works and what it all looks like. We'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, welcome back. So, we've got this awesome setup all set up and ready to go here. And this is how we did it. Put an iPad mini on the left with the Mountie. I put an iPad Pro 9.7 inch on the right. I have extended the screen only to the iPad. I could extend it to the left to the iPad mini, but in this situation, I'm going to demo having separate entities. But I could actually extend it across three screens. How do I do that? All right, so let me go ahead. I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to show you this is wireless. And there you go. I've just dragged the Finder screen over to the iPad, as you can see. And this little uh, website here behind the scenes is exactly how we're doing that. You have to install, if you go to Avatron or the iOS uh, store, and you download uh, the host file for Air Display, launch it on your Mac or your Windows, and then you have to download it from the iOS store. Uh, the Air Display app for the iPad um, or, you know, iPad Mini, iPad. You can even put it on your iPhone if you so desired. And just put the iPhone over here on the Mountie and you could just monitor your iPhone. I don't think you'd want to extend your display to this. It might be a little small, but you could. So, 
wirelessly MacBook on same network as iPad. These have to be on the same network to uh, share the display. That is how it's done wirelessly. No wires included uh, or needed for this setup. So in this setup, I could actually be over here on my iPad mini and if I can be playing Spotify, monitoring my Twitter feed, whatever, it's a separate entity in this occasion and I can just view whatever I want on it and act it just like a regular old iPad mini. Uh, on this this situation, if I click up here, once you install the host file on your machine, it's going to give you the option to disconnect or connect to the device over here. I've launched the AirDisplay app. It's sitting here waiting. It also has an IP address. It tells me if I can want to connect to it, I can just plug in the IP address uh, that it has. Or you can see here it actually sees it because it's on the same network and I can select it and the screen just starts to, uh, I can either mirror or I can extend the screen. In this case, I have extended the screen because that gets me more productivity. If I was in kind of presentation mode, I would probably just want to mirror it, and that way the iPad could actually have the display, and then maybe I could, uh, you know, air display that across to a Apple TV or something. So anyway, guys, uh, as you see here, if I come over here on the Mac uh, iPad with the trackpad on the MacBook, I can move stuff around. I can look at things and it is just like I said another display that I am mirroring uh, not too much lag um, as you can see here I'm moving around in the files over here and I'm showing some thumbnails and stuff like that so uh, very cool uh, works very good if I wanted to launch uh, Google Chrome and then maybe browse over here and you can see now it remembered I had Google Chrome up over here on the iPad so I closed it I relaunched it it says hey I remember what screen you had that on it was this screen over here so this is where Google Chrome now launched as you can see right here so really cool stuff uh, you can pretty much you know make yourself very productivity wise just that much better uh, by extending these portable uh, all I basically have to do I'm carrying my MacBook Pro anyway I'm carrying my iPad Pro anyway maybe add another iPad to your uh, Arsenal or maybe you're carrying a mini too and that's for like reading at night or something and then just set up shop like this This sets up in minutes very easy and again All I got to do if I come over here and I say I want to disconnect my iPad and make it just regular old iPad I just click disconnect and I am back to uh, Just iPad only and you can see it's connecting for waiting uh, for a computer here to connect And then if I just come back over here and I say oh, yeah, ready to extend the display just hit connect and boom, we have extended the MacBook just like that. And again, if you did it over here on this one, same situation. You'd have another iPad listed, or if you wanted to put your iPhone over there again, you could do it and extend your display and have three screens. And this just looks so cool. Um, this is just a, like an awesome setup. I mean, and being portable, imagine yourself, conference room, coffee shop, whatever, and you're trying to be m most productive, and you get this kind of thing sitting there. People will be like, whoa. What the heck? That's a pretty cool rig. Anyway, guys, check it out. Links in the show notes for Air Display app, their website, and the Mountie from 10.1 Design. Uh, these, like I said, go hand in hand, give you this kind of super productivity. You gotta be looking for stuff like this that's cool, and this is definitely an awesome setup. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and always thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.